All right, YouTube. This will be a little bit different of a video. Still going to be working on the truck, but you're actually going to see two different days on it. And uh, I have a part that should come in maybe tomorrow um, that, that goes on here. And when it shows up, it'll be worth it. Um, so here's the problem. The air conditioner belt come off and when it did, it took the, uh, it damaged the, this belt, which runs my cooling fan and uh, water pump. So we're going to loosen all that off and get a new one and go ahead and get a new alternator belt. Now, this isn't locked up. This still works. It's not, it, it's still perfectly fine. We're just not going <clears> to <throat> put one on there right now because I don't know if it works. Actual blows cold air. Uh, being as old as it is, I doubt it. I know I can convert it, but if you guys remember in a previous video, <clears throat> I don't have any vent inside the truck. All the stuff come off, but uh, or the hose came out of there, just rotted away. So right now, that's uh, it's beyond the deal for today. I'm probably not going to record it. I just I don't think anybody would care to see that. I am having a cooling issue. If you're moving, it's fine. When you stop, it's not. Um, it doesn't have a shroud. So I thought about trying that, but I've also been thinking about trying one of those electro digital fans. I don't know, we'll just see what happens. Anyways. All right, so I kind of lied to y'all and I don't mean it that way. Uh, but I said that I was gonna have two days worth of videos here or different videos on one day, but I actually gonna the part came in so This little dude out here it, it ran out of juice the horn it, it, it's out of horn juice, so I have to replace it With that um, Now it's gonna be a minute before I do it. I haven't decided how I'm gonna do it yet. Um, I may just remove this one and try to mount it up inside there. The only thing is, is that though there's room because it's got a smaller battery than what's supposed to be in it, it, you know, there would be room there. But I may just run a wire from here all the way over and mount it over there somewhere. I haven't decided yet. Right now, I'm not too concerned about it. Um, I'm gonna put the belts on. And I didn't think about it. I, I don't think anybody would really need any help doing that uh, or video watching me do put them on. It's simple, it goes around, get your pry bar, pry up on it, tighten it. Um, power steering pump, which goes around the fan. Uh, that one actually has a nut here and you just, you're able to slide the whole thing up. It tightens up. Um, I did, I did go ahead and get a new belt for the air conditioner, but I'm not going to put it on right now. And I don't know about y'all, but keep your old belts. I'm going to put them behind the seat of the truck just in case something happens and I have a spare. Uh, again, the air, air conditioner is not locked up. See, I can even, I, I can spin it. She still works. Um, I don't think she's charged, but the whole thing is, is that it does work, but the pulley got a little damage on it, on the, the ring that it goes on, um, when I was trying to break it loose, so um, I think I'm going to just put it behind the seat for right now, and maybe in the future, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video, or not end the video, but stop the video here, put the belts on, and then I'm going to do some, uh, some thinking, and again, I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking, if it goes right there, you'd be aimed out, you'd be able to hear it. If I put it anywhere else, now I'll be on the other side, 
like this. See, it's not aimed forward to be aimed up towards the hood. This will aim it forward so it's be able to be heard outside. I'm, I'm thinking maybe right in there, but we'll see. We'll see. It's all, it's all up here at this moment. Um, again, I'm going to go ahead and just, if I had a taller stand, there's a possibility I may, I may have uh, done this on the video, but this is as tall as my stand goes. I just, I don't, I don't think y'all can see that from here. So I think this will be it for this one for right now. And I'll bring y'all back. Well, I've already lied once in this video. Why not do it again? I know this is not the most ideal position to do the video in, but it is what it is. So, try to get the right belt here. One's gonna go round, round and round, and round she goes. It goes round this one and the back pulley back there. And I think, I think it's gonna be tight because it was tight coming off. But not as tight as the other one, man. That other one was, it was ridiculously tight, but it had also gotten damaged a little bit. Um, it's all in the groove and it is, it is still kind of tight, but not too tight. Just don't get your fingers in there because it'll probably make you cry a little bit. Oh. That's as loose as it gets too. And I mean, that's just it. Personally, I think it's just too tight, but what do I know? That's the belt, shows the belt, the size on the, on the website. Shows this size at their counter. So the only thing I can think of is it's, it's gotta be this size. I think, to be honest with y'all, it might be easier if I try to go from the top down. Like this. Unless you use the fan. Turn it all on there. Oh. Uh, that would be my luck. It's a compression stroke. There we go. There we go. Now, make sure everything's good and on there. Okay. Run this tight. It's the 9 16th. Now remember, it's a belt. Feels pretty good to me. Oh yeah, look at there. Now, that's not the end of it. Three bolts here. Hey, y'all sit still. Now these are just bolts, so you're gonna wanna tighten them up. Break your bolts, but definitely want to get them tight. Got a video coming out on the old camper here pretty quick. We're gonna 
We've got some electrical issues on that thing we're gonna have to sort out. And uh, we're gonna add a plug in the master bedroom just to make things a little easier at night. My wife, she sleeps on one side and I sleep on the other. It's you know, pretty much self-explanatory there. Um, she should be able to plug her phone in on her side of the bed and not run the cord all the way on my side. So there, we got that done. Now, gotta do the alternator. The alternator's a little easier. Well, actually, that one's pretty dead gum easy. That bolt right there makes just life good. But finding the yellow spot, that might be the challenge. Y'all see anything? Don't act like you can. Hoping. Yeah, you know, hindsight's always 2020. I sure wish would have damaged that pulley any. Now I can, I can order a new one uh, while I say that. To be honest with y'all, I just looked up the price of it just to see how much it cost from a rallies. And you know, right off the bat, the first thing she said was, well, I, I don't even, I can't find it. Um, LMC doesn't have it. Now I can look, Google it, and I see them, but I don't know if they're the right ones or not. All right. Now, when you go to start pulling that out, do remember, you gotta loosen that bolt off before you take it off, but you've got stuff back off in here. Wires here and wires there. Don't damage it, you know, being dumb. When you're gonna get it pretty good and tight, not, doesn't have to be German, but you want it good and snug. And darn it, scoop of Steve. Father's Day is coming. I told my wife I'd love a bigger pry bar. I think she's probably like most wives. She doesn't understand. It's just a tool. But boy, do I like tools. Okay. I'm more worried about marking it on the back of the alternator. Don't have anything else. Now, don't don't be tempted to let off the tension and keep it on there. Uh, I'm sure there's a mechanic out there that would disagree with me, and that's fine because uh, they do it for a living. I don't, but I keep tension on it until I'm fully tight on all of them. <clears throat> and there we go. I mean, it, it's good and tight. Yep. I'll check that bottom one one more time, even though it shouldn't move. Mm. Yep. There we go. So now, we're not putting it on. But I did pay for this belt, and I want to make sure it's the right belt. Because if it's not, I can take it back and exchange it. Um, of course, it's not going to go on here right now because I got it tight, but that looks right. So, yeah, well, that's the right one. We're just not going to, like I said, I'm not going to put it on right now. Um, but we will put it behind the seat of the truck just in case. Uh, I don't, again, I, I know I'm not the only one that had a toolbox on the truck. I'd put it in the toolbox, but I'd have to have a toolbox that sits down in the bed and 
I just don't have one. For any of y'all that are thinking about doing uh, YouTube channels, keep something in mind. Like I just had somebody come jogging by and here I am talking to myself. So keep that in mind. People are gonna think you're weird. All right, I'd start it up and let y'all hear it run. Um, but I don't want to right now. I don't have the keys on me. Let me do some soul searching and we'll figure out where we're gonna mount this Uga horn, okay? All right, YouTube. So here's what I've decided. We're gonna mount it right here like an Este. Um, I don't know much about this product. Uh, it feels kind of cheap, it is super loud. I, I did try it from a neighbor. Um, but it is plastic right here. So I, when I was thinking here, I could put some wear on it. Let's just aim it right here. And I'm gonna turn it just a little bit so it's aiming outwards. Um, it is super loud. Like I wish I could joke around. Good grief, is it loud. So if y'all can see that, there's no coverings on the end of these right here. And um, I, I don't like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some heat shrink over the top of that and we'll just shrink it down. And it's probably not gonna go far enough down on this right here to keep anything out of there, um, but it's gonna help keep it on there and it won't touch anything or anything like that. So that's the first thing. Then we'll drill through there. And I haven't decided yet. Um, there's a high possibility that I might uh, put this on fast when I edit it, um, but not before then forgot my torch. I'm going to pause it. I'll come right back. All right, we're back. Let me look through here. See what I got. It's going to be way too big. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. Probably not because I'm good at not holding it where I need to. Yeah, it, just, it took nothing to pull them off. So... Let us put it on here. Again, if I speed this up, you guys are going to hear Mickey Mouse. But if I don't, you know, you'll hear me talking. Let's drink on both. I don't don't kill your oh I may be running out of propane here don't melt your horn down doing this there we go plain and simple right on there now let's do a rough guesstimation of where we want it sitting so right about right about there um Oh, there. Well, that's, that's wonderful. It's not thick at all.
I know you guys can't see me, but I'm just grabbing some bolts and stuff. It's got one of those bolts that you slide right underneath here, right in there like that. Get me all fixed up. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> hey, you're on video, by the way. Hi. <laughs> well, I'm be headed out of town in the morning. Sorry about that, a lady from our church stopped by. All right, so I drilled the hole through here, and uh, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna put red Loctite on here, and then I don't know if you guys are gonna hear me because I may be on the fast forward part. Red Loctite washers and a lock washer, and then I'm gonna go underneath here. I don't have the fenders in yet, the underneath side, and the reasoning for that is because I'm just not for sure about that fender on the other side. I may end up trying to replace it. This is still the area you guys can hear me at. Be sure you don't German it. It's just plastic. Some red Loctite. The came from Taiwanium, China. So it's really not the greatest. In fact, I think I'm just about out of it. Let's get some more. Just hate how everything's so stupid expensive now. So I've got a washer on there. We're going to go one down in there just like that. Let me lock washer and the nut turn it about there see if I can't so I've kind of decided to Put this video up a few times so that way if I wanna I wonder if I want to talk on it I can if I don't. Well that stinks. Oh well. don't want to talk on it, I don't have to. You guys may not believe this, but it's metric. I'll be right back with the metric. All right. Now, what I will say is I may pause it several times during the making of this video, and that way the ones that I want to speed up and the ones that I don't get treated differently. Huh. Obviously I thought that was the right size, but it is not.
Hmm. I don't know what's up. Well, we'll try this again. Right, I think it was a 9 16 adjustable. I don't understand what's going on with that. No matter what I put on there, unless possibly I just didn't have a deep enough socket, but that's the deepest I got, so this will have to work. mechanic out there right now that's just screaming out his lungs because it's taking me so long there we go she wiggles a little bit but she's tight i think i don't want to go any tighter on it because it's pretty tight there she goes all right so the next thing is run that positive wire from there and we'll set it right across top here. We'll put it in loom. Where'd that come from? Put it in loom. And I'm thinking, drilling a hole right there to ground it. I could possibly take those off and ground it right there. I might look at that. Um, at this moment, we're going to go ahead and pause it and start again. That way I can speed it up and slow it down however I see fit. Always want to make sure wherever you get a ground to is clean. When good, make sure it's a mating surface. Now, we want to want to find an end that I can clamp on that, that's still that size. So to hold the wire. I think this one's gonna work. Yeah, I think it'll work just fine. Um, go ahead and clean the bolt up too. Works great when you're wearing gloves, but you know. This is my plan. We're going to crimp this in here and we'll heat shrink it. Um, make sure that it, I don't know, well, I shouldn't say make sure it's going to stay, just going to make sure it's going to work. 
and then that we'll move that back around put this on top of it should have more than enough clearance um should be good so let us get some heat shrink and i didn't break the lid slide it over take this put it on there and of course crimps out. I don't know about y'all. Everybody does it differently. Me, I found it easier to sometimes to prep it. Crimp it really good. Well, I don't know if that one's small enough to make sure. Now don't rip it off. Make sure you give a little tug test. That feels good. Fire! I may not believe this, but puts out some heat. Again, I don't know if you guys will see it or not, I'm putting it on the bottom. And I'll move the rack back on top of it. Good grief, is that warm. It's almost like I just put fire on it. Um, probably gonna kick myself for doing this. But again, this is really cheap. Loctite doesn't work the greatest. Um, but I'm gonna try to, what little bit I have left in there, put a little dab on there. Cause it's really, it's basically empty. I need to order some more. It's cheaper to find it on eBay, but. Now, before you go off and just really crank that down, you're gonna wanna turn that wire. You wanna make sure you're holding it in the right spot. and easy. Give it a nice little tighten. Tighten the other side. There we go. Tighten the other side a little bit more. Nice and firm. Now something you're probably not going to see on the video is I have like battery terminal um, stuff that I'm going to spray on there just to make sure that it doesn't make sure it doesn't mess up. All right, so we got that. Now comes the comes the fun part. Let's see if I can't turn y'all. Get this wire over here. So here is the wire. And what I want to do is I'm going to make a wire. It's going to be way too long. But I'm going to put an end on it, stick it in here. Then we'll put a test light on there and make sure it's still lighting up. Because the last thing I want to do is get it all ran over there and find out that there's more wrong than just this. All right, so I'll stick this in there like that. Again, this is just a test. And uh, the, the wire is entirely too long. Like, I, I know that. Uh, I'm, I'm not done. I'd rather have too much than not enough. So let's go ahead and always make sure it's it lighting up. So we'll stick it down in here like an Este. Ow. Preferably not in my finger again. Stick it in there like this. And you know what? I don't know if my finger can take anymore. I'm just giving y'all a heads up. My neighbor's walking out and she might stop by. So if she does, I will try to edit that out. It's ridiculous. It's all right. 
There we go. Spreading them open. Wrapping it around. Now, I'm hoping I'll be able to see it. But, you guys watch. I'm going to push the horn button. There we go. So now we know it does work. Now, um, I am going to go ahead and heat shrink this together um, just to be on the safe side. I don't want to cut it off because who knows what the future holds and somebody may want to put the factory horn, put a new one on it. So, well, that's going to be way too dead gun big. See if this one will fit around it. And it obviously won't. Yeah. I don't know if this is going to work the way I'm wanting it to. Worst case scenario, it doesn't work and want to sack like it does. backing out the driveway now, so I'll probably fix and have to pause it anyways. There we go. So she's fixing to come this direction, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop it. And I'm gonna get some electrical tape and we'll go around it. Okay, so time to put this on there. So we're gonna put it on here and then run it across here. I'm gonna stop it and I'll bring it back on because I'll do I'll for sure speed this part up. It's just putting this on there.
All right, so here is where we got some stuff to do. Now, we want to heat, we're going to crimp this together and, and heat shrink it. Um, I made it obviously a little bit long. So I'd rather have too much than not enough and I'll trim it down. But, uh, Let's see what we're going to do here. So the worst part is, is that I brought a little baggie over here that has <laughs> clamps to hold that in place, but. I have no idea where I put it. I'm sure I'll find it. They can wrap this around here like like this. Put a self tap screw in there like that. Now remember, it's just sheet metal, really thin sheet metal. So if you you try to German it it's probably not going to work. Um, I think one there, and I'll probably do one more just out of camera view. One more right there, and I think that'll do it. I think that'll be more than good enough. Get in. Obviously, I need to make sure that, yeah, we're going to have to add a washer to that, which is fine. I got them. Go ahead and put it out about right there. That way we know that we've got a little extra length and we're not going to lose anything. Now again, we'll be trimmed down just a smidgen off the end, but not be that much. It's a lot easier to get it started. Pull it tight, pull it straight. go.
Well, for now, let's go ahead and get this end on the horn itself. Go ahead and bend it over. And we'll get it pressed up inside the little clip here. Something you want to make sure. That I had a little bit of piece of wire sticking out, and if that wasn't touch anything, even though we are going to heat shrink it, that could cause for a bad day. Give a light little tug, nothing, nothing that's going to ruin anything. Now we got to figure out how much of this we need to cut off. So, I'm going to take probably. I need to cut this about right there. Frank, I'm just going to use black here. Oh, well, maybe. Mint yellow, we're going to use yellow here. Alright, take this. Pretty self explanatory. Inside the hole there. We'll crimp it. is tight it's not coming loose let me cover this up fire Need it Take this and put it all back in the heat shrink here. I don't know, it, it's warm right there. It's almost like, it's almost like I just put a torch on it. I tell y'all, I understand the reasoning behind the loom, but sometimes, sometimes it's just pain in the rear. Yet I've seen people that have a real issue with it, they just stick it right on there and they're like, what, I don't see the problem. You got me, sometimes, sometimes not. Seems being a great big huge jerk right at this moment. So I'm just going to jump out here a little ways like this. In a cat, don't go skinning cats. If somebody be watching this, be all offended by that.
It's taken way longer than it should have. Last little bit in there. So close, so close. for the see what she does truck before me I've been thinking I thought about putting it here I just don't think it'll look okay spacing wise so I'm thinking right there I can't think of any other place I want to do it down here just wouldn't you know wouldn't show so I'm gonna clean up that spot really good with rubbing alcohol. And because I wanna make sure that's stuck on there good, I'll bring you back after I'm done, not before. And there it is. Now, there's actually one more thing they're waiting on that my extremely gorgeous wife has made for me. If you guys give me a little time, of course it's only gonna be like seconds to y'all, but She's making it now. We should have it done in a few hours. I'll put it on the truck, upload the video. But here's you, Ralph. All right, YouTube. The last of the day. There it is. My wife made that. It is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, just makes it pop. Look at that. Now, just in case you guys saw this up here. Um, so, the antenna was broken off, and I have this. It's good in there for now. To be honest with you guys, I don't, you know, we don't listen to radio, so it's more for looks than it is anything else. So, We'll just let that glue as JB welded. But in, in the future, we'll replace it just because the fact that it needs to be replaced with the factory one. But anyways, until Saturday morning, when I come out here, we'll wash it again, and then we'll do a uh, linseed oil on it. This will be the last video on it.